Hello to Peyton. So nice to see you. Hello to Ryder. So nice to see you. Hello to Carter. So nice to see you. Hello to Owen. So nice to see you. Hello Antonio. So nice to see you. Hello to Sawyer. So nice to see you. Hi everybody. Let's start with the month. So the month is still March. March. Can you say March with me? March. Can you say M is for March? Excellent. Great job. And our friend Pete is still with us. He's been really great. He's helping me out with everything in our class until you guys are able to come back to school. Hi, everybody. So I'm going to put him right back there. Okay. So let's sing our month song again. Okay. You ready? All right. Sing loud. I want to try to hear you from home. Okay. All right. January, February, March, and April, May, and June, and July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. I know, are they great, Pete? Fantastic. All right, we are moving right along here. So let's go to what day of the week it is. So the last time I spoke to you, it was Monday, March 23rd. Yesterday was Tuesday, March 24th. What do you think comes after Tuesday? Monday, Tuesday, oh. right Pete, Wednesday. So today is Wednesday. Can everybody say that? Wednesday. Excellent. So today is Wednesday, March, let's go down here, 25th. Awesome. Let's say that all together. Wednesday, March 25th. Fantastic. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. But remember, when we get to Wednesday, we are lifting our arms up and yelling, Wednesday! Are you ready? You ready, Pete? All right. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Excellent. Great, great job. So proud of all of you. Okay, so let's move on to the weather. So I got up today and I ran downstairs really quick and I looked out the window to see what the weather would be. But when I looked outside, it looked kind of dark out. So it was kind of cloudy out. There was no sun up in the sky. And I opened up the window again, just a little bit. And guess what? It was kind of cold. So I closed the window. So I think today, would be cloudy and cold. But let's sing all together our weather song. And then we'll take our arrows and point them to the right there. Are you ready? Okay. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny or cold today? Ooh, you have a chill too, Pete? Me too. Oh, it is cold out today. So, let's look for a bear, okay, that has clouds in it. Hmm, let's see. Oh, here's one. So, it's cloudy. And, oh, here's our bear that's cold. So today is cloudy and cold. Okay, the last part of circle time is our clock. 
our clock has 12 numbers. And I want everybody to count with me. First, I want you to count very, very loud. And then I want you to count very soft, like a whisper. I want you to show your mom and your dad and your brothers or your sisters or your grandpa or your grandma how you know how to count all the numbers on this clock. Do you think you could do that? I do. Are you ready? You ready, Pete? All right. Here we go. First, we're going to do it loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fantastic. Good job, everybody. Give yourself a clap. Fantastic. So now, let's whisper. Are you ready? Here we go. everybody! Today we're going to learn about the letter D and what items begin with the letter D. Pete, would you help me? Oh, great. Would you guys help me too? Oh, excellent. So when I point to something on the board, can you repeat after me? Perfect. Okay, great. So, the letter D sounds like this. Duh, duh. Can you say that? Duh, duh. Let's say it all together one more time. Duh, duh. Good job. Good job, Pete. Thanks. All right. So D is for door, donut, duck, dinosaur, Deer and dog. So can you repeat after me? Are you ready? When I point to something, I want you to say duh and whatever I point to. Can you say that? Just like this. Duh donut. Excellent. All right, let's try it. Duh deer. Duh. Dog, <gasps> duh, duck, duh, donut. Love donuts. You too, Pete. Mm -hmm. Especially the bunch of the sprinkles. Duh, door, and duh, dinosaur. Excellent. Give yourself a hand. So since we're learning about all the items that start with the letter D and the letter D, I thought it'd be really neat if we did a craft today, which is in the shape of a D. So D is for dog. But first, we're going to start by reading, if you give a dog a donut, right? D-d-dog, d-d-donut. What do you think, Pete? Oh, you're excited about this book? So am I. I really like this book. All right. So let's start by reading the book. Everybody sit up straight. Crisscross applesauce. All right. You ready? If you give a dog a donut. If you give a dog a donut, if you give a dog a donut, he'll ask you for some apple juice to go with it. When you give him the juice, he'll drink it all up. Then he'll ask you for more. 
there won't be any left, so he'll want to make his own. So he'll go outside and pick some apples. When he's up in the tree, he'll toss you one. Throwing the apple will make him think of baseball. I love baseball. My little boy plays baseball. You like baseball too? You play baseball? Oh, Pete plays baseball too. Fantastic. He wants to play. You'll have to get a ball and a glove. Of course, he'll need a bat. He'll ask you to pitch. He'll hit a home run. Wow. Then he'll do a happy dance to celebrate. Do you do a happy dance sometimes? Yeah, sometimes my little boy does too. Don't tell him. Shh. I told you. Dancing will make him hot and dusty, so he'll need some water. He'll probably start a water fight. You'll have to dry him off with your bandana. He'll wrap it around his head and pretend that he's a pirate. Then he'll want to go on a treasure hunt. He'll find an old kite and want to make one himself. You'll have to get him some sticks, paper, and string. When the kite is finished, he'll want to fly it. He will go higher and higher until it's tangled in the apple tree. Then the tree will remind him of apple juice. So he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if he asks you for some apple juice, he'll want a donut to go with it. The end. What a fun book. I love it. So now, let's start our craft. Remember, D is for dog, duh, dog. And this is the letter D. This is a capital letter D. So the first thing we're going to do is take our, take our D and lay it down, get some glue, open it up. We have all the parts that we need to glue on. We're going to first glue on the spots on our dog. See? At the end, it's going to look like this. So let's take our spots, put some glue, whoops, on the paper, and stick the black dots on the glue. And you can put them anywhere you want on the letter D. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my glue. Okay. And what color are these dots? Anybody know? That's right, Pete, black. Fantastic, all right. Then, do you know what this is? What do you think he has here? An ear. His listening ear. We need to put it on, right? Because we all have great listening ears. So let's take the glue. Whoops, my glue keeps falling out. And put it on the paper and stick on my ear. But what do you think he needs? What are these called? Right. Eyes, but we're only going to give him on one eye right now because this is just the side of his face. Excellent. Okay, and now, whoops, I dropped something. 
a dog always should have a collar to tell who the dog belongs to. So this one says D is for dog. What color is this collar? That's right, red. Excellent. Guys, it's too smart for me. So we're going to put some glue on the back. And we're going to stick it on. And now we have a dog tag. And the dog tag has the letter D on it. D for dog. Usually a dog tag has the dog's name and where it lives. There we go. Now we're going to put our glue away. So now we're going to take out our red marker and we're going to draw his mouth. Oops, you know what I just realized? I forgot to give him a nose. How silly am I? I know, Pete, Miss Michelle can be silly at times. I know. So, so silly. Hold on. Let's see if my glue is being, everything's being silly. All right. So we're going to glue on his nose. And perfect. Here he is. D for dog. How cute is he, Pete? Do you like him? I like him too. Great. Okay, so before we do our goodbye song, let's all get up and do our freeze dance. Yes, I know. Pete's so excited. He's going to do it with us. Okay, so everybody, let's get up. And let's show our moms and dads and grandma and grandpas or our brothers and sisters how we do this free stance. Maybe they'll want to do it with us too. You ready? Here we go. Let's play the now listen to what she's saying. Now remember, when I say freeze, freeze. And when I say dance, dance. Oh, here you go. Now remember when we freeze, we don't move. today. So now it's time to say goodbye. But before we say goodbye, we just wanted to tell you, Pete and I, that we've been having a really, really fun time with you. But we really, really miss seeing all of you. And Miss Jen and Miss Christine asked Pete and I to tell you how much they really, really miss you and cannot wait to see you when you guys come back to school. 
So let's all sing our goodbye song together. Are you ready? Here we go. We had lots of 